we're going to go to Anthony Dasher and then we're going to go to Drew Beal. Hey, Noah. Uh, obviously, uh, not a lot of positive things to, to say about tonight. Uh, I guess just first of all, I mean, did, did y'all ever see this kind of thing happening tonight? And I guess I know it's going to sound like a silly question, but just kind of what was the mood like in the locker room after the game? Um, do I see this coming? Um, I mean, they're a, they're a scrappy team. If you look at the, the teams they play, they play some really high level teams. They play Duke at Duke. Mm -hmm. um, they played a couple, you know, close ones. They beat West uh, Western Carolina by about 25 to 30. And we knew they were dangerous and we let them be dangerous. I mean, again, slow start again. Um, this is, it's just really frustrating, man. I mean, I, 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 I've been on a losing team my first two years of college basketball, and this team is nothing like that team. I'm not saying, you know, we're losers or nothing like that, but we, we have so much potential and so many players that can do, do much more. And, and I'm not saying nothing, myself included. There's a lot more that we all can do. And it's just frustrating when um, we're not helping each other. We're not, we're not feeding off each other like we should as a real team. Um, you know, it's just, it's just frustrating, but, um, they're a good team, man. Uh, Gardner Webb, they're, they're dangerous. I mean, you saw what the, their players can do, but at the same time, we let that happen. So, um, ups to them for having a good game, but, um, another game where we, we just got outplayed. Simple as that. And just one quick follow-up. You mentioned the slow start. I mean, that has been a recurring issue. It seems like this whole season long. Is that something, again, you can possibly put a finger on is why that's happening. Um, that's something I personally am preaching to the starting uh, group that that every time we're, we're going into that four-minute uh, media timeout, um, it's always like 6 to 19, 6 to 18. Today it was 5 to 18. Slow start. It's just it's, it's, it's hard to – I've said this in a couple of medias where it's hard to just crawl and crawl and try to fight our way back every game. And so – just got to you know, figure that out eventually. But, you know, just starts on defense. We, we I, I feel like offensively we can get stuff going tonight. We didn't have – we didn't play particularly well the last couple of games offensively, but defensively we just are not locked in. And we, and we got to – it's – it's we got to, you know, put a foot on that. And it's it's got to start. I mean, especially going to the SEC play. Those guys are, you know, really good basketball basketball teams. And we got to – we got to do something about that. All right, thanks, man. Hey, Noah, uh, kind of a more technical question for you. Uh, you guys attempted 19 threes tonight after last game, putting up 20 in the first half. Both games were against teams with a pretty similar defensive strategy, running 2-3 zone. Uh, and it seemed to work for you last game. Obviously, you went 3 for 19, so the shots weren't really dropping. But was the shooting switch up attempt-wise, was that a result of, you know, like kind of a more concentrated effort to take it inside, or was that sort of natural with the flow of the game? Uh, it was just the flow of the game. I mean, we're not really thinking um, get threes up or nothing like that. I mean, we always want to give uh, let our big man go to work. I mean, um, we know what what Brandon can do inside, so we definitely want to give him the ball. But like shooting threes, not really like preaching that really. Um, but it's just how the, the flow of the game was. Okay, thanks, Noah. All right, thank you. Guys.